As the battle of the budget has been waged on Capitol Hill these past few weeks, the man who's been taking a lot of the heat, and for that matter, creating some of it, has been the budget director, David Stockman. On behalf of President Reagan, Mr. Stockman has already mixed it up with the farmers and the military. Today, he defended the president's decision to do away with the Small Business Administration. ABC's Ann Compton was at the hearings. The first witness didn't sound like someone who wants to abolish the Small Business Administration. Jim Sanders, keep up the good work at SBA. Jim Sanders is the SBA's chief who had that message taped for a conference last October. Budget Director Stockman testified that since that script was written, the president decided the government can no longer afford the inappropriate luxury of subsidizing loans to a handful of businesses. And some caustic words of Stockman's came back to haunt him. Mr. Stockman, you have been uh, quoted as saying that the Small Business Administration is a rat hole, a billion dollar waste. Do you uh, think that's a fair characterization of the Small Business Administration? Well, I think I would stop at the billion dollar waste. So, I think there's a real arrogance in that answer. And I think the public has noted that arrogance in many other answers. And let me tell you, I think you're taking a lot of heat for this administration. So I think you've been a heat shield in a lot of respects. And I know you're getting tired of taking the heat. And frankly, I don't blame you. Senators bragged about success stories like Apple Computers, Federal Express, and the fluff -a mop company of Goodlettsville, Tennessee, all of which were born of SBA loans. If they lose that authority, then there'd be no hope for the entrepreneurs who might want to open a flop -o mop company. There may not have been a flop -o mop company, but there would have been a mop -o flop company. A lot of other people start businesses without an SBA loan. They get a bank loan. But among senators, the political resistance to killing SBA seemed overwhelming. You're going to lose. Not because I've got the votes. Because I've got the case. M. Compton, ABC News, Capitol Hill. As the president's point man pushing for cuts in federal spending, Budget Director David Stockman has spent the past few weeks embroiled in controversy. His comments have drawn angry cries from farmers to military pensioners. And today, as Irving R. Levine reports, he took on small business. On Main Street America, small business plays a big role. Four out of five U.S. businesses are small, employing fewer than 20 people. Last year, 21,000 small businesses like radio station WICB started with loans from the SBA. An agency President Reagan now wants to abolish, but once praised. Keep up the good work at SBA so that the years to come will be even better. <laughs> a Senate hearing, Budget Director David Stockman explained these were not the President's words, but... The script that the President read prepared by the SBA. Stockman, who has described the SBA as a rat hole for government money, was regretting these words today. So you're retracting your previous uh, accusation and slander against this agency that the Small Business Administration is a rat hole. Well, if you want to put it that way, fine. Undaunted, Stockman insisted Congress kill the SBA, which lends $3 billion a year to people, like the founder of Philomena's Restaurant. Turned down by banks, now a big success. I wouldn't be here. None of these people would be employed here if it weren't for SBA. Senators cited other SBA success stories and questioned Stockman's statistics. I've got pages and pages of tables in here. Your numbers are wrong. Yes, They're sir. Wrong. Um, the they are for now. You let me finish and give you the correct. I'm now going to get the correct numbers. You've well, had you've had a month to peddle your your misinformation. I just think we're wasting a lot of time. I think there's a real arrogance in that answer, and I think the public has noted that arrogance in many other answers. Beating up on Stockman has become a competitive sport in Congress, although he wins as many as he loses. In this case, Stockman is likely to lose, with most SBA functions being preserved. Irving R. Levine, NBC News, Washington.